this is Hassan's Mass Channel. I'm now answering question number 11 from the um, June 2022. This is from the GCE UK exam. This is an A-level exam for the Pure Mathematics Paper 2. And this question here relates to P2 of the um, Edexcel International A-level syllabus. And this is about proofs, um, proof by deduction. Here it says prove using algebra um, that n times n squared plus 5 is even for all natural numbers. All n where n, n are the natural numbers. Now, n natural numbers, okay, the natural numbers, what it means is the numbers that you count with. Okay, so the natural numbers are the set of positive integers. Basically, you say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. The positive integers starting from... Um, one, of course, because zero is not positive. It's an integer, not positive. So starting from one, the numbers, when you start counting, you don't start with zero, you start with one. So those are the natural numbers, okay? So we got to prove, using algebra, that this statement is even for all values of n, where n is a natural number. Okay, so um, we got to prove that this is even, okay? So... If you're going to prove something that something's even, you've got to be able to express it in terms of multiples of two, because even numbers are multiples of two, and numbers that are not even are not multiples of two. So you'd be able to, you should be able to show that something is or is not a multiple of two in your proof. If it was, if it was talking about um, prove that this number is divisible by three, for example, then you would like to express things in terms of multiples of three in order for you to be able to show that the expression will be something which is either divisible by three or not. So in this case, where it says even, we've got to think about the numbers expressed in terms of multiples of two. So we can say let n equals 2k, and I'll say where k is an integer. Okay. All right. And... Um, and I'll say let n equals 2k plus 1, or 2k minus 1, where k is an integer. All right? So when, n, when k, for example, is equal to 1, then this will be 2. When k is equal to, um, you know, 0, this will be 0, this will be 1. Okay, now we don't really want to include 0. So what I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to do something slightly different. It doesn't, I don't think it makes much of a difference. But because they said for all uh, natural numbers, which starts from one, I'm going to say I'm going to say two k and two k minus one. So that will actually, you know, when k is zero, I'm going to be I'm going to this will have all the so when k is one, I'll say k is an element of the natural numbers, all right? So k is an element of the natural numbers. So when k is one, this will be two, and then when k is two, you have four. When k is three, you'll have six. When k is five, you'll have um, before is you'll have eight when k is five you'll have ten and so on so that that will cover all the even natural numbers and two k plus two k minus one when k is one you're going to have two minus one which is one when k is two you're going to have four minus one which is three when k is three you're going to have six minus one which is five when k is four so on you're going to have seven and you have nine and so on so this covers every single natural number for all the different values that k can take. k is all the natural numbers. So this expression 2k will cover all the odd number, even numbers, and 2k minus 1 will cover all the odd numbers all the way from 1 to infinity. So it covers every single possible value of any natural number. So if I now say when you put n equals 2k into this expression, which is n times n squared plus 5, you'll end up with 2k times 2k squared plus 5, which gives you 2k times 4k squared plus 5. Now, this is for sure an even number, okay, because you have, this is 2 multiplied by k times 4k squared plus 5. Now, this is an integer for sure, okay, because k is an integer, if you multiply an integer by 4k squared plus 5, which is also an integer, that will be an integer. So this is definitely, therefore you have, this is a multiple of 2, because it's 2 times something, therefore even. So every single value of, if I put 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, any even number that I put into this expression, for sure, we've proved that that's going to be even.
The answer is going to be even. Okay, and then we say, let n equals 2k minus 1. So when n equals 2k minus 1, and we put this into the expression, you have 2k minus 1 times, you're going to have 2k minus 1 squared plus 5. Okay, 2k mi minus 1 squared plus 5. So you've got to prove that this is also even. So what I'm going to do, this is, this is 2k minus 1, and this is going to be... If I expand that, I'm going to get 4k squared plus 4k plus, um, sorry, minus 4k. Minus 4k, because there's a minus between them. So you square this, you multiply them together and double it, and then you square the last numbers, that's going to be plus 1, and there's going to be a plus 5 at the end there. So you end up with 2k minus 1 times, and this is going to be 4k squared minus 4k plus 6. And see from here, there's a, there's a, uh, you can take out a factor of 2. If I take out a factor of 2 from there, I'll have 2 times. I've got 2k minus 1 times. Now, if I've taken out a factor of 2 from here, this will be 2k squared minus 2k plus 3. All right. So we can see here, again, we have, this is 2 times a multiple, uh, 2 times an integer. This is 2 times, and this all is going to be an integer. Okay, so 2 times an integer. Therefore, this is also a multiple of 2. This is for sure a multiple of 2. Therefore, even. So we have shown... We have shown... Please excuse my handwriting. That for all possible values of any natural number, the expression, so you always should write a, a conclusion, even though these, these, these are not really worth that many marks, it's always good to write an expression. N, what was the expression again? N times N squared plus 5 n times n squared plus 5, okay, will always be even. Will always be even. So we proved it for every single possible value. So what you don't do, and I, I heard some discussions about this, or read some discussions about this, um, what you don't do is you don't just take a, a like any random even and odd numbers and put it in here and think that you've proved it. So you might say, all right, let's try when n equals, say, 4. So you have 4 times 16 plus 5. That's going to be 4 times 21, okay, which is 84, though it's even. And let's try n equals, for example, 3. So you have 3 times 9 plus 5, which is 3 times 14. Okay, 4 times, that's 30 plus 12, that's 42. So, you, oh, that's even as well. So we proved it. No, you've only proved it for n equals 4 and n equals 3. You haven't proved it for every single even number that exists nor have you proved it for every single odd number that exists. You only proved it for those particular values that you used. So you cannot use this as a proof for all natural numbers. You have to have an algebraic proof which takes into account every single number that exists in, you know, that pos every single possibility. And that's what this does. When I say 2K and I say K is a natural number, I have include every single even number from 2 to infinity. And when I put n, n equals 2k minus 1, I've included every single odd number from 1 till infinity. Okay? So that's why you have to use this algebraic proof when it's like this. All right? Because sometimes there's questions where, for example, it says prove by, uh, by counterexample. Okay? And sometimes, you, you, you know, that, the, that this, this is always prime for every prime number or whatever. You'll find that sometimes you have one, you know, you eventually get to something which doesn't, follow the rule. Just because the ones before it did, it doesn't mean it's true for every single number that exists. Okay, so you have to be able to prove it for every single number that exists. That's why doing this is not enough. You have to have this algebraic proof. And sometimes students say, well, it's only worth sometimes only two marks, some of them, especially in the IL one. Sometimes they're worth very few marks for something like this. The reason being, um, I think, is because in this, this is a topic which is not very well understood by a lot of students. And they don't want it to uh, cost too dearly for the uh, marks of those students in their exam. So that's why 
they kind of make it worth less than maybe the amount of work you've got to put in actually entails. Okay, so that's the answer to this question. Um, you should always write your conclusion. You should show clearly that you've 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 done it for every single you know case. You don't always use 2K and 2K minus one or 2K plus one. You don't always use that. You only do that when you have to prove something's even. So you've got to deal with multiples of two. If it said if it talked about proving something is or isn't a multiple of three, you would use 3K, 3K minus one and 3K plus one. You'd use those three cases. Why? Because every number is either a multiple of three or one more than a multiple of three or one less than a multiple of three. Okay, all numbers are either those. So you have to do it for every single case that exists. Okay, so it's something that's very important for you to understand. So that concludes this question, which is an important question. And I'm choosing this from the UK syllabus because this is a new topic and a lot of students don't have that much exposure to these questions from past papers because there's not been that many past papers in the new syllabus. So that's why I'm choosing questions from the UK syllabus for this as well. And so you will find other questions from this particular paper that I have answered will be in the playlist that will appear at the top of the page over here. Other questions from P2 proofs of IAL will be found in the playlist over here. You can su subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link and you can watch the video that will, uh, the link will appear over here to, um, you know, find out how to use my channel to find what you need efficiently. Thank you for watching and see you soon.